What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today on Friday night, uh, April 15th, which is tax day, but it also happens to be Good Friday. Um, going to be opening some baseball cards tonight. Um, I got these four hanger boxes from Target the other day during one of our local restocks. Got this one. The vendor saw me staring at it. He said, oh, come on, you know you want it. Just And he just handed it to me, so I guess I uh, felt obligated to not put it back, so I bought it. Um, so I wanted to do a little competition here and see what's better. Hanger boxes, hanger boxes, mega boxes, and then I had four hanger boxes from last, uh, last year's update series sitting around that I've been sitting on. And one of the things that many people have been pointing out is obviously the changes in the odds. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, difference here. So in this year's 2022 product, you had a gold, which is one out of eight. Last year, it was one out of three. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. Green, green foil board this year, one out of 32. Last year's update, one out of 12. Orange foil board, one out of 54 this year. Last year, one out of 21, and red, one out of 82, and last year, one out of 31 boxes. The real kicker is the short prints. Last year, it was one out of 13 boxes had a short print, and this year, it is base short print is one out of 24, so a little, little bit less than double. Um, super short print, one out of 700 this year, and last year, it was one out of 263. And anyway, the odds kind of go down from there, but they did put some new cool inserts in this year's product with the home field advantage cards. I'm not sure they're going to do that throughout all series this year, but maybe they will. So this is a little competition. What, which one's going to win? Um, we're going to have the, the update series with Ronald Acuna on it. We're going to have those four hanger boxes, which got these at Barnes and Noble. Um, the Topps Mega Box or the Topps Hanger Boxes from this year, which is going to be the better format? Obviously, you have Wander Franco in this product. You don't have Wander Franco in that product, um, which makes kind of a big difference, to be honest. Um, but nevertheless, I think the odds of pulling something good in this set of boxes is better than the other two. But we got to open it up and find out. So, which one am I going to do first? Kind of go all the way through, and, and then we'll, we'll set it aside, make a pile, and then we'll do the next pile and the next pile. Try and keep everything separate so we know exactly who the winner is. And then at the end, I might open that Topps Chrome I've been sitting on for a while as a little bonus box, uh, just to kind of enjoy this Friday night. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Got my sleeves here, got my top loaders. Can't decide. Uh, you know what, I, I think let's see if this can make a comeback at the end. So let's not set the pace with that. Let's set the pace with the hanger boxes first. Because I have a feeling, given the fact that Wander's in this product, that these hanger boxes might be the best format, but I'm honestly not too sure. So, go ahead and dig into that. So. All right, guys, we're going to speed it up a bit. This video will probably take closer to like 45 minutes. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of mute out the talking and just speed this up to 2x speed so you can just take a look at the cards. In these first four hanger boxes, to be honest, there really wasn't anything special. All I got was one Wander Franco and a couple various inserts. Nothing too crazy. As you can see, there Wander's on the screen right now. So... In order to save some time, and, and obviously your time is valuable, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and kind of cut out the audio. I will see you again when we get to the hanger boxes of update.
have been open like i just got these this week which means they just restocked them this week so it's sort of like the last tail end of the series one and we have you know up or uh, series two coming up at some point okay what do we got here we've got an awfully dinged card wrong ray dang it look at how dinged that card is i'm glad it wasn't wonder because i would have been disappointed Matt Veerling on the Rainbow Foil, Raphael Devers on the 87 Throwback, Buster Posey, Aaron Judge, Jose Ramirez, Chris Bryant. We've got a Roberto Clemente on the Welcome to the Show, not numbered. Yeah, these, these hanger boxes were kind of garbage. I'm not going to lie. These, other than one Wander, um, these, these hanger boxes were junk. Um, I think it's going to be pretty easy no matter what I'm opening to beat this. So go ahead and get this stacked up and set to the side. We'll go ahead and switch to another product and then see what we can pull. So on Soto. All right. So that's that. Look at the Veerling sleeved up. I don't think he's very good. But... Sleeve up your, your parallels and, and decent cards. So we'll do a recap at the end, but out of the hanger boxes, that's it. That's that's it. I mean, these cards have a, a value of about five cents unless you get a wander. So it is what it is. And then here's your stack of rookies and, and kind of superstar vets out of those boxes with a massive stack of base. Alrighty. I'm going to open up the hanger boxes next. I'm going to open up the Mega Box last because I want to save the suspense for in case there is a Home Field Advantage card. I have seen Home Field Advantages and numbered cards come out of the Mega Boxes in a much better clip than some of the Hanger Boxes. So go ahead and open these and see right off the bat, Key Brian Hayes' rookie debut. Um, this is a very rookie-heavy product. The Chrome version of this only had 100 cards in the set. So we'll see what we can find. We're looking for Kelnick, Vaughn, um, Badu, any rookie debut. It's going to be very rookie heavy. We're going to get a ton of rookies out of this. I sleeve up all the rookies after the video is over. I sleeve up the good rookies right away, uh, especially those that are the, the, you know, the flagship rookie, their first rookie. Uh, I don't need to keep the base separate. Peterson... Guzman, Peralt. Yeah, a lot of rookie debuts in this. Lots and lots of rookie. I got an upside down card already. That's a good sign. That's a either a short print. What do we got for team? For team, we've got the Indians now Guardians. Is it numbered? It is numbered out of 2021, and we have Sam. Who the heck is that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. He's a rookie. It is a rookie, but it's a pitcher. We've got a rookie gold. So already these boxes are better than I think the prior uh, because we got below it a Alec Manoa, who was one of the better pitchers in update last year. Rainbow foil. 
managed to pull his gold right away um, from a uh, hanger box. Who else have we got? We've got A-Rod, Yelich, and then these are your, these are almost like the stock that you would use for uh, Heritage, to be honest. Not very good stock. Kind of thicker cards. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> Hendrick, Pearson. There's an Andrew Vaughn. Let's leave up the Vaughn. Larnich. Brew, whatever that guy's name is. Okay. All right. Joe Adele, rookie debut. Joe Adele was, was terrible so far this year. Man, was he awful. Would he have nine at-bats and seven strikeouts or something like that? Just terrible. Everybody's so hyped on that guy, and he just needs to figure it out. Um, and as obviously that would be the case if you strike out that much, but it's really surprising. I mean, the guy's had a couple chances now to get to the big leagues, and he just seems to not be able to put it together when he gets up to that level. I think he's just really going to struggle in the pros. Um, he is only like 22, maybe 23, so he's still pretty young. Um, so we'll have to see how he does. He's obviously younger than Key Brian Hayes. He's younger than Andrew Vaughn. I think he's younger than Kelnick's pretty young. So that hanger box was actually much better than the, the uh, hanger box from Series 1 this year. Not surprising. So hopefully this year's update, they'll make less of it, and it'll obviously be pretty good. All right, next box in. Let's see what we can find. Still looking for Kelnick, looking for Badu, looking for another Vaughn if we can find it. Who's the other rookie from this set that I'm thinking? Jonathan India, that's it. That's right. So we're looking for India. Separate all the rookies. We never know what they're going to do. Minor. Some rookie debuts in the Chrome version probably have a little bit of value. These don't have that much at all. Maybe 50 cents. Nothing too crazy. Best thing to do here is probably lot the cards up. Wait till you get like 20 of them and try and sell them all. If you're interested in doing that. Wait till the guy has a hot series and just, just ditch them all. So we're looking for short prints here. We're looking for numbered parallels. Of course, Drew Smiley. Got another backwards card. That's good. Two, two num probably two numbered cards in a row. Let's see what this one is. We've got the, oh, this is like a team card. Okay, so we've got the Braves, maybe. It's, just a number, it's another gold, look at that. Oh, it's Ian Anderson. Okay, that's not bad. And Kyle Farmer, Rendon, another nice Manoa. I like that one. Baez, Judge, Tatis, any Tatis, good Tatis. Kirloff. Devers, Walls, Mazzara, Pearson, another Andrew Vaughn. So already it feels like these update uh, hanger boxes that I've been sitting on forever are much better than Series 1. Um, kind of forgot how easy it was to pull some decent stuff out of those. Series 1 is fun. Because it's got Wander in it. It's got some pretty decent pulls. And it's, you know, inserts kind of saved the set. But if you didn't get the inserts or didn't have a chance at the inserts, that set, that, that product would be boring to open. It's just not fun. So go ahead and sleeve these up. So right off the bat there, we got two golds in two boxes now. Two Andrew Vaughns, still no Kelnick. Two Manoas. So where it says the Manoa and Ravon rip. Um... We've got, come on, get in there. Still got the Mega Box to come. Could get something good in the Mega Box. We got an Ian Anderson rookie debut gold. Would have been nicer if we'd have got like a Kelnick gold. That would have been nice. Um, or an Andrew Vaughn or something. That would have been a kaboom. Okay. Go ahead and get these stacked up. We still got two boxes to go. So we could still pull something good out of these last two boxes. It is possible. I Believe it or not, you know how many of these boxes I have left? 
These guys still have like 14 of these boxes sitting over there. I went real heavy at Barnes & Noble. Nobody was touching these, and I kept buying them over and over again for nine bucks a piece because with the discount, you get 10% off. It's the best best value in cards, if I'm you know, being honest. Got a die cut in here. Let's see what we can find. Still looking for a Kelnick. Still looking for a India. Still looking for a Badu. Might have missed a Badu. I don't know. All right. Boom. I heard Boom likes uh, Philadelphia. <laughs> Not. I don't know what that guy's problem is. He obviously was frustrated. He, he, he really, you know, honestly, if he was a good hitter, I think the position for him is a DH. Like, it... it he makes errors left and right. He is not Key Brian Hayes when it comes to third baseman. He is just awful. But it's not everybody's thing, right? Doolittle. You know, he was a rookie last year. I didn't know that. Okay. We've got another upside down. we got another upside down card. So pretty much every hanger box so far, we've gotten an upside down card. So what do we have for team? we got another A's. Or not A's. we got another Brave. Do we have another Ian Anderson? Whoa. Okay. We got this one numbered to 25. We got an Ian Anderson numbered to 25. Wow. What is that? It's a camo. That is sweet. That's a nice one. I have not pulled a camo. Um, man, what's the odds on that? That's one of the... Super, super short print. Too bad it's not uh, Jared Kelnick. That'd be freaking sick. Be amazing. If you pull a Jared Kelnick super short print like that. Rojas. We got Brandon Crawford in the All-Star game. We got Bob Feller, Ozzie Smith. We got Aaron Judge again, Tatis, Kirilov, Verlander. Wow, I did not expect to see a numbered to 25. And it's one of 25, too. Look at that. That is awesome. One of 25. Although it is Ian Anderson, so it's not It's not like it's Kelnick or Vaughn. Oh, my God, that would be crazy. Or a superstar vet or something. Like, one out of 25 would be a huge hit. Still good. I'm not going to complain. I'm glad I opened these. I, I might open the other ones. Maybe make another video tomorrow. On this Easter weekend. How's everybody doing? Enjoying your Easter? Enjoying your spring? You know, to be honest, spring here in Indiana hasn't been that great. Um, it seems like we get a 70 degree day and then we go right back down to 40. And then we get a 70 degree day, kind of teases us and it goes right back down to 40. All right, so we are on to our last box. We've got a really good hit there. I've never pulled the, what is the odds on the camo? Let's see here. So camo is even more rare than, okay, so camo is one in every 239 boxes. So it's basically the same odds as like a black or it's the same odds as a super short print. So yeah, that is a super short print. That's pretty cool. Not going to lie. That, look, that looks really nice. That is a really cool looking card. Looks really centered. That'd probably pull a 10. Too bad it's a pitcher, but I'm not going to complain. Ian Anderson could turn out to be Clayton Kershaw. You just never know. All right. We are on to the next and last hanger box in this $40 versus $40 versus $40. We're going to see if this one can be even better than the ones we've already opened. I don't know. We still have no Kelnick, which is crazy. All right. Trammell, Huff debut, Garcia. I pulled Garcia. I pulled some pretty cool uh, super short print of him a while ago out of a box of um, number to 25. We got a gold auto of him out of a uh, Topps uh, Stadium Club Chrome, which is pretty cool. That was that was pretty pretty cool to see. Hopefully he has a good career. Many people are pretty high on him. Um, I don't know too much about him, but, um, you know, if, if the – if the Washington Nationals ever become good again, they've uh, they've obviously traded away a lot of their talent. Let's see if we get another upside down card, maybe. No, doesn't look like it. This might be a dud box, given the fact that we've had so many good boxes. I don't think that Jock Peterson is a short print. Uh, it's a 
35 code. What's the code normally? Uh, no, I don't think it is. I think that's just the base. Yeah. Put that in the good pile. What do we got here? We got a Tyler Alexander, a Roberto Clemente with the gold border, Yastrzemski. Uh, so that box was kind of a dud. Andrew Vaughn on the uh, throwback. We had no Kelnick in four boxes so far, which is crazy. But we pulled a camo. That's pretty cool. Not going to lie. That is pretty, pretty cool. Never pulled a camo before. And it's number one out of 25, too. Could have pulled 25 out of 25. So that is definitely a eBay one of one. For those who keep track. And then we got the Mega Box. Which I feel like that's a short print, but no. The stack of rookies and rookie debuts from update is insane. It's almost half as it's almost as big as the uh, stack of ace. So you definitely get get your values worth. So out of that, so these are rookies and rookie debuts, four boxes, right? Look at that. And this is series one. <laughs> and then, not only that, but we've got the stack of unsleeved inserts and inserts here. Some pretty good stuff. Camo, a gold, two golds, a camo, Alec Manoa rainbow foil. So that was much, much better than the four hanger boxes from series one. Not going to lie. Not even a question. Um, I don't know what that Ian Anderson goes for. Probably, what, like 40 bucks? I mean, if that was if that was a Jared Kelnick, that would have been a monster card. I saw you hit a home run the other day, which is pretty cool. So, uh, go ahead and open this. I'm going to go. All righty. I'll take a quick bathroom break. I'll edit that. I'll edit that. I'll edit that out of the video later. We are on to the mega box. Sixteen packs, sixteen cards per pack. Two hundred fifty-six total cards. Many would say this this pack is a brick. Uh, I don't know what's more of a brick: series one or the Don Russ mega boxes from <laughs> recently released basketball. One hundred twenty cards per box and barely a chance at a numbered card. At least in this, you know you're probably going to get a Wander. You might get a numbered card, but who knows? So I think I think after this last opening, with regards to the uh, the hit rate out of the update series uh, for these, I, I you know obviously you know you know you don't uh, have complete visibility to the value of the cards, but I just feel like that's going to be hard to beat. Um, so. Let's see what we can find out of the Mega Box. Really, the only thing that can save us here is like a super short print, a home field advantage card, um, some kind of wander parallel would be pretty nice. Don't really know if we're going to find that. We might find none of that. Let's try and keep this separate. And then we'll go ahead and open that Topps Chrome box that I've been sitting on forever. Some kind of. Oh, it's 87 throwback again. I was going to say vintage stock. I never pulled a vintage stock yet in all of the Series 1 that I've opened. My best pull is probably the home field. Or no, I pulled a Wander Blue. That's my best. That is my best pull by far. Um, Cincinnati Reds. Tony. Vladdy. Who's your daddy? I like that one. It does look nice. It's a cool one. Don't know that it's worth a ton, but looks cool. Alrighty. So we are two for two on our uh, 87 throwbacks. If I don't hit anything in this box, I am not hunting for any more Series 1. I think, I think I'm just done. 
that I feel like the hit rates, there was a sweet spot there with regards to the product release where stuff was coming out of boxes and it was a decent set of odds. But lately it has just gone completely cold. And other than a couple here or there, this product is so watered down with base. It's just not even funny and not even fun at this point. Um, so Ben Gamble, not a, see, there's nothing, there's no inserts in that at all. It's just kind of garbage. So <laughs> next pack in, we got a wander in the back, finally a wander. Um, any trout's a good trout. That's not too bad. There's going to be a million of those. Do you think, do you think if all those trouts were for sale for a dollar, people would buy them all for a dollar? Do you think there's enough buyers out there to support a million dollars worth of Mike Trout cards from Series 1 this year? Probably not. I'm going to guess that's probably a 50 cent card. Juan Soto on the Home Run Challenge. Stacking these Home Run Challenge cards up. I have a big stack that I have now uh, forming, which is pretty cool to see. Definitely will look to redeem some of those coming up here in the next couple of weeks or a couple of months. When you get into the warmer months like May and June, obviously you have much better chance of balls flying out of the park. Not going to have a whole lot of uh, chances to fly out of uh, Wrigley Field right now with regards to cold weather or Minnesota. So you do need those summer months to really kind of save you. I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> See if I can find anything good in here. I'm not really sure. I'm just not feeling it. What do we got here? Why is this card backwards? <sighs> Boy, what did I pull here? Derby do What is this? What is this? A promo card? Predict the home run champion for a chance to win. I've never seen that before. I don't even know what that is. Must leave it anyway. Um, <laughs> that is weird. I have never seen that before. Uh, that's like an enhanced version of the uh, home run challenge card. What are the odds on even? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Promo code card, maybe? Is that promo card card? So maybe like one in every 2,000 packs? Or the home run challenge code card? I have no idea what that is. Where's the home home run uh, derby card? That, that's If that's our one hit from this box, it's a little disappointing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Although these are probably pretty rare to hit. I, I mean, whatever. It's... It is what it is. I've never seen that before. I don't even know what that is. I hope that's not our only hit in this box because it's not even. There's not even a player on it. It just says predict the winner. Well, I guess you wouldn't do that until you had visibility to know who's even in the game, uh, to know who's going to be there. But I guess that's the point, right? So then you have like a one in ten chance if you pick pick the winner uh, of winning probably a special prize or something, which is pretty cool. So. And we got six four stars on the Ozzy Albies and Dansby Swanson and Garrett Cole. I really wish, I really don't know. Like, predict the home run. Uh, I'm not sure what to think of this card. I mean, if it was that hard to hit. I'm really not sure. I don't know. Let's keep going. <laughs> Find out what we got. I might have video video issues here on my phone. Might be at capacity. Got to move some of these videos off. That was weird. I, I really don't know what that even is. <laughs> Somebody might say, oh my gosh, I'll buy that off you. Because they're hard to hit. Okay, you can buy it. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to guess wrong and have it be totally worthless. Because it's no face on the player. It's It's like the faceless man. I don't know. That's just kind of weird. I've never seen that before. I think in all the product I've seen open, I don't even think I've seen anybody hit that. But I guess I'll take it. Schwerber. 
Getting a lot of Reed Detmers. No wonder. What's that? Team card? Wish that was a short print. That'd be a cool short print. Clayton Kershaw. Jazz Chisholm. About halfway through the box, I think. We got eight packs to go. I really hope that's not our only good card. I'm really... I, I'm assuming that's the card that's like one in 2,000 packs. It's a pretty rare hit. But not the rare hit you're looking for. <laughs> not going to lie. Kind of a weird, weird hit. Got to wander, maybe. No, jeez, what the heck. Thought we'd have a wander. Dang it. Guess not. This, this box has been kind of a dud so far. Unless you count that that pull. I, I mean, that could be a good pull. I don't know. Oh, I like that Tatis. That's a nice one. Key Brian Hayes. Key Brian Hayes off to a hot start this year. I like that Tatis. Any Tatis is a good Tatis. That's a good Tatis. All right. We're, we're going to pick it up here because this is just crazy. If That is the best card we got. Like, that's just not good. Hoping for a wander. Cunha. Jazzy. Hernandez. Hernandez. Pavin Smith. Whit Merrifield. Chris Bryant. And Freddie Freeman. Where's Chris Bryant play now? The, Rock the Rockies. Playing in Colorado. It's probably a good spot for him. Corbin Burns. Are we going to get a wander? We are. Nice. That's nice to see, at least. So we didn't get it in the prior pack. We got the Zimmerman. That probably meant we were going to get it in the next pack. Should have known that. Kranich. De La Cruz. Brandon Marsh. Another good one. Key Brian Hayes. And Arizona Merrill Kelly. The blue. Lou Bob. All right, I guess I'll sleep up Merrill Kelly. Brandon Marsh. It's going to be really hard, honestly, to top the the camo that we got. And I, I just don't, I don't know. I mean, I could I count this, this uh, home run, whatever card, derby duel card as like a really good hit? I don't know. Probably because it's pretty, I'm sure it's pretty rare. Never seen that pulled in any boxes I've watched. <laughs> Be fun if you were like guaranteed a trip or something, like just by getting the card. It was like, hey, we'll, you know, we'll pay for your travel. You can go to the home run derby. That'd be nice. I doubt that'll happen. That'd be nice. Boba Shet. Mouther. What do we got? Oh, we got a gold. I just ruined it. Pavin Smith. Got a gold. And Jake Rogers, rookie. Not a rookie. Regman. Okay. Pavin Smith, gold. So, golds were one out of 33 packs. We got a gold. <laughs> I don't know what to think of this mega. We got four packs to go. We did hit a numbered card, and we hit a pretty rare insert of, of the faceless man. So... I have no idea what to think. It's uh, it's an opportunity, right? It, it could be a really good... If you predict the winner and you win it all, maybe your prize is really worth it and it's a, amazing, right? But I feel like you got to remember to play. You got to be home when the game's on because you got to enter the code and do that. We got George Brett. I feel like it's just too much work. They're, they're just making it difficult on you to, like, um, have a path to victory. Why can't they just give you a card? They're going to put an insert in there that's that rare. And uh, it, and it's like you got you to gotta work for it. Okay. I guess it's enjoyable if you're a kid or something. I don't know. Not really sure. Might just sell that. Let's see what some of them are being sold for and just sell it so I don't have to monkey with it. Give somebody else a chance. Ronald Acuna on the greatest hits and Bryce Harper. 
Two packs to go in this mega box, and then we'll do one bonus of Topps Chrome 2021. Can you believe it's 2022? I feel like 2021 was just a weird year after 2020 debacle with everything being shut down and everything. You know, we live in Indiana, so things were open like pretty quick. They kind of went back to normal, not within maybe a couple months. But I felt bad for places around the country. where That's Hunter Renfro, I could tell. Hunter Renfro Blue, Pete Alonso. And last pack, Mojo. It's about a hundred... $120 rip. Try to sell some stuff. Uh, but I feel like this pack has nothing in it. Posey, Kimbrell, Moran, Yanoa, Rogers, Gibson, Grossman, Solak, Smith, Padres, Bard. That's it. All right. Well, that was probably better than the hanger boxes. By a little bit. Not a lot, but a little. Some decent pulls in there that were a little bit more exciting, but nothing too crazy. Didn't pull at one, 1 in 25. So, stack of rookies is about the same size as the hanger boxes and the rookies and the stars. So, I'm going to put those together because I'm not really rating that box okay so we're gonna open up this one box of tops chrome that i've been sitting on forever for nostalgic reasons see what we can pull in here maybe pull auto maybe pull a short print number 25 pull a super fractor right let's wish it into existence we're gonna pull a key brian super fractor in here i don't know probably not we can wish right we can hope all right Wonder how much Topps Chrome is going to be this year. A lot, probably a lot. Topps Chrome probably going to be printed to the freaking moon. Hobby boxes are already insanely priced. So let's see. We got eight packs, four cards per pack. Let's go ahead. If we pull a hit, I'm going to save the hit to the end. So hits are always designated by thicker cards. We get pinks and sepias in here. Nothing there. Chris Archer. Yarborough. Any trout's a good trout. Is that a... That's a weird looking... It's, I think it's supposed to be like a... That just looks weird. I don't know if that's a base card or a prism, but... It, eh, it's a prism. Okay. That's a good trout, actually. I will take that. And a trout prism. Uh, I'll take that. Trout prism, trout pinks. Those are nice. At first, I couldn't tell. <laughs> it, it looked kind of weird. Um, any trout's a good trout. That's a good trout. Our pink was kind of a disappointment. Nothing crazy there. Got one of those 86 designs on the back. The 86 designs look sick in the chromes. I really hope they do the 87 design in chromes this year. Those would be pretty nice. But the 86 designs will really look fantastic. Scooball, rookie. Prismic Power, Randon, and that's got to be oh, Luis Garcia. I thought it was in Juan Soto. All right. Sleeve that up. Sleeve, sleeve up Luis Garcia. Okay. Sleeve up Scooball while I'm at it. Prismic Power. I'm going to skip sleeving that up. Maybe do it later. It'd be very interesting if they had the home field advantage in a chrome this year in tops chrome that'd be nice or if they had it in series two with just a different set of players that'd be nice too got a nice one soda there I like that one pache posh whatever Anna carlos santana on the sepia posh being on the uh a's i think is going to bode well for him I've said that in prior videos. I really do think that's it's going to make a big difference for him. He is definitely was never going to get playing time in Atlanta with a good team like that. They were they were on the winning track, and he needed to be developed. If they were a rebuilding team, that's a different story. Lorenzo Kane, Marte, Medina, McCullers. 
Nothing crazy there. Let's see if we can pull some fire. I have no idea. We have a hit. We have a hit. I think it's a green. It's not backwards. Hmm. Could be an auto. Greens are numbered to 99, I think. Let's hope it's a good rookie, right? We have a 1 in 200 chance that it's somebody good. We have another hit. In back-to-back -back packs. One of these is an auto. I'm almost certain. And I hope it's a good one, not a pitcher. No hit in that one. Suar Suarez? Boom? Is it boom? That felt weird. It felt thick. Muncie, Nico Horner. Sleeve up the bone. Got two hits in this box. That's not bad. Just hope they're good, as opposed to like being some crappy pitcher auto and some vet that you don't care about, right? If you're gonna get a low numbered card. You want it to be a rookie and one of the good ones, right? You really don't want it to be some crappy player, so. Mookie Betts, Schwarber, Annie Tatis is a good Tatis. That's a good Tatis. And Max Muncy, way off center. Is this a refractor? I think it's a refractor. That's a nice one. It is a refractor. It's a refractor of Tatis. This is a good box. Glad I opened this. I had been sitting on this box for a while. Like, we're talking months. Probably six months I've been sitting on this box. All right, which one are we going to do first? Do we want to do the green parallel or probably what I think is an auto? Because I don't think refractors in here are numbered. Well, unless they're an auto. So you see, that's a green. Green parallel. So we'll do the green first. Joey Bart. So it's not Joey Bart. Pull from the back. Ooh, that's a nice loop, Bob. I like that one. I really like that one. Joey Bart, what, what do we got? Where's his team? Team's in the lower corner. So what do we got? Oh, wait a minute. We could have Joey Bart. Don't do this to me, Tops. Do not do this to me. Please be Joey Bart. Got a helmet. That's a good sign. Kaboom! Fuck yeah. Oh, man. Joey Bart on card auto numbered out of one out of 99 hell yeah that this box just won everything oh my goodness i did not expect that do we have two autos in this then i didn't expect the green to be an auto honestly i did not expect the green to be an auto and i did not expect back-to-back -back cards to be joey bart <laughs> when i saw a a, uh, a, uh, a portrait version of the card in the um, Giants logo with the rookie, I, and I saw the helmet, I thought, oh, man, that could be Joey Bart. I was right. That is Joey Bart. And I hope that card's not scuffed. I hope that's on the sleeve. Probably. All right, that's cool. Joey Bart. What do we got here? No way we got... See, there's a thick card in here, right? I'm not the only one seeing that. It is a pink, okay? Probably... Okay, so that's not a rookie then. A pink, Pinks are always not rookies. They're like the number to 300 or whatever. All right, this is... I don't know which upside down. Phillies Landscape? Who's a Phillies Landscape? McCutcheon, Andrew McCutcheon, numbered to 399. Okay, I'll take that. Not bad. He's a brewer now. <laughs> this is a pretty good box. Let's do a recap. Uh, thanks for sticking in. I know this has been a long video, but I like to take my time and enjoy it since I don't open cards very often. Actually, I do. <laughs> take that back. I open a lot of cards. Just kidding. All right, so... Let's do the recap of the Topps Chrome box first. All right, so Lou Bob, 86. We got a Bohm, Bart, 
Soto, Posh, Scooball, Garcia, 80, Trout, Hyper. We got McCutcheon, numbered. I should have saved this card to last. We got Joey Bart, 38 out of 99, on card auto, and a Tatis. And I did not see that coming. Okay, so our Mega Box was, we'll cover the Mega Box. So the Mega Box, we got this Derby Duel. We got two Wanders, Wander Base, and a uh, Wander Stars of the MLB. And then we got some various inserts, just some random inserts here. I think we got a nice Tatis insert. Where's that Tatis insert hiding? Somewhere around here. Come on. Evan Smith numbered card. Tatis is in there somewhere. Gotta be. Tat we got the Tatis 87 throwback and the Vlad 87 throwback. Oh, there we go. Tatis, Vlad, some star power in there. Acuna, Pavin Smith, Brandon Marsh. Okay. Not bad. Next, we will do the hanger boxes from Update. So don't think you care too much about these cards. Just some unsleevable inserts. Got to sleeve up the Vaughn. All right, I'm going to put that last. We got Manoa in the 86. We got Vaughn. We got a gold of Ian Anderson. A couple more inserts. We got a base of Vaughn. Rainbow foil Manoa. Um, gold of uh, Sam Henches. And a camo. Rookie camo, one out of, you see that? One out of 25, Ian Anderson. And then last but not least, the worst opening of all of them was the hanger boxes of Series 1. There's your good inserts there, which is not much. No wander, or no, one wander in four boxes, and that is pretty much all she wrote. So, highlights of the video... We'll show them on the stage. We've got a Joey Bart out of 99 on card auto and an Ian Anderson um, camo. So that is it. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Have a great night. See you next time.